In today's video, I will discuss the new addendum concerning right to terminate due to lender's appraisal. I like the changes to the form, but I am still not a proponent of using it. I'll explain next. Last week's video, I discussed the significant change in the third party financing addendum, which, under the property approval contingency, requires a written statement from the lender as to why the property did not satisfy the lender's underwriting requirements for the loan. This written statement must accompany buyer's notice of termination and must be given three days before closing to be effective. Some of my more intent viewers caught me saying during my video conclusion, 30 days before closing. Sorry about that. That was an error. Three days is the time frame. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Now I'd like to discuss the changes made to the addendum concerning right to terminate due to lender's appraisal. I like the changes made to the form. It is easier to read and understand the intent of these contingencies. However, I still do not recommend using the form. Everything that is accomplished by the form can be accomplished by adjusting the cash down payment and the loan amount in paragraphs 3A and 3B of the contract. Keeping in mind that financing as is set forth in the contract is simply a contingency. The buyer is not obligated to close on those terms if the buyer can get a better loan and loan terms, more power to him or her. If the buyer wants to close on different terms, buyer can do so. The terms in the contract are simply contingencies in favor of the buyer. Rather than using the addendum concerning right to terminate due to lender's appraisal, to avoid a situation where the lender denies the loan based on the appraisal, make sure the buyer is putting more cash down than the minimum required by the lender. For example, if the lender says the buyer is qualified for a 90% loan to value, that means the lender wants to see that the buyer has 10% equity in the property. If the buyer is putting more than 10% cash down in the contract, the appraisal has lesser impact. The more down payment, the less impact of the lender's appraisal. And if the appraisal then comes in sufficiently to support the higher loan amount than stated in the contract, buyer can adjust his loan amount and reduce his down payment. Conversely, when a buyer does not want to close if the lender's appraisal does not support the sales price, then buyer should write the contract with the minimal cash down required by the lender. The less cash down, the more impact of the lender appraisal. If the property doesn't appraise at sales price because the contract is contingent on the higher loan to value ratio for which the buyer is approved, the lender is not able to approve, uh, give property approval and buyer can terminate. If the property appraises at the sales price, then buyer is happy. And buyer can come to closing with as much cash down as he chooses. To reiterate, the new addendum which is approved for use now and as of March 1 will be the only form for use is better than the one currently being used. However, I'm not a fan of the use of these types of provisions. I prefer to handle these contingencies within the terms of the contract. Wishing each of you great success in 2019. Please allow Allegiance Title to be of service. We are your trusted resource for results.